Congresswoman Annie Custer has spent just two of her eight years in Congress in the majority. She'd like a fifth term to see what Democrats might do if they can win back the White House and the Senate. Joe Biden calls it Build Back Better, and I want to be a part of that. I'm very excited. Two years ago, Republican Steve Negron, a businessman and Air Force veteran, challenged Custer and came up short. But he's feeling better about his chances with voters in this 2020 rematch. They're tired of the hyperpartisanship. You know, when I knock on doors and people, they say, you know what, I can at least have a dialogue with this guy, Steve Negron. Negron has been going door to door for some time now amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Congresswoman Annie Custer believes that's a mistake from a standpoint of both politics and public health. I think it's dangerous. And, and the idea of going door to door and campaigning on people's doorsteps, um, the voters that I talk to, my constituents, are very concerned about protecting themselves and their family. Not all Democrats share the Congresswoman's sentiment. The Biden-Harris coordinated Democratic campaign resumed door knocking at the beginning of October. Negron says the vast majority of people welcome a visitor who keeps a safe distance. They want to talk to you. You know, they really want to get outside of their shut-in home and come out and talk to us. Another contrast you'll see highlighted in this race right up until Election Day involves the issue of abortion. Custer is pro-choice. Negron is pro-life without exceptions. Women are going to make that decision, and we're going to be there for them on the backside of it. You know, we need to still show compassion and care for those women that make that decision because every person that I've known, and I've known a few that have had that decision, have regretted it. So if Congresswoman Custer wants to bring that fight to the table, we're ready for it. My opponent wants the government to be inserted in that decision, and we couldn't be in a more different place on that issue. And I think women voters will respond because of it. In the 2nd Congressional District, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.